Hello Geeks and Gamers, Matt Lemke here with Through Gamer Goggles, Gamer-Goggles.com and today we have another figure forge for you. This is a continuation of the Wrath of Kings two-player starter. Uh, it is the, this is Rathor, he's one of the characters of the two-player starter for the Gorti, uh, the Nazir, my bad. I always do that. Uh, and he's actually one of the more complicated pieces in the box. Uh, but again, you know, if you look at these models, uh, they go together pretty easy. I mean, they're kind of dummy proof. Uh, look, if you can't put together those things, the this, you know, so they fit. I mean, I mean, clearly that doesn't work, and that doesn't work. They're kind of, like I said, dummy proof. Uh, maybe a little bit of epoxy work on this. Um, it, it's a it's a tight fit, you know. So you can you can do that, and, but you've got give me a toothpick here so you can see better. Some clear definition there to tie into it, or you ruffle it a little bit and make it part of his his uh, clothing, tunic, whatever you want to call it, belt and little pieces of leather armor. So we're going to start with this piece, actually. We're going to put some glue there, glue there, and we're going to push it in there. Oh my gosh, what did I do? I think I did it wrong. Oh no. Uh, we're going to fix it so it's right. And we're going to set that down, um, and then we're going to we're going to actually take his his little spear piece here, and we're going to let that set a little bit, and we're going to go just a little bit of glue. And we're going to take these two pieces, these two tiny bits, and I suppose you could be artistic and flip them if you wanted. I I will not do that today. And I'm actually going to set that off camera for a minute or two outside. Well, if it's a minute or two, off uh, so it, it dries a little bit. And then I think I'm going to do his uh, big leg. And again, it only goes in one way. Uh, and then I'm going to set that down. And I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to put the stuff in his uh, face mask, blind mask, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to put his horns in. And this might actually be an error, uh, doing this now. Oops. There we go. Uh, because it it might prove difficult to put on the body in a minute, but set that aside. Let it dry up a little bit too. And then I'm going to put the last leg on. Then I'm going to put the arm on, or the arms. You know, and we're like, what, four minutes in? I'm going to clean that off a little bit more real quick. That's actually a pretty loose fit, so I'm going to put some glue around the top edge here. I don't normally do that, but that fit is really loose. Uh, if it comes off, I will I will use epoxy to take care of that. And then, wow, I should have cleaned that better. Uh, 
Oh, maybe I was trying to make it look like part of the... Oh, you know what that was? That was his ear. I just cut off his ear. I'll have to make an ear for him on that side. I don't know. I kind of like it better without the ear, to be honest. Anyway, the head is a pretty loose fit, too. Again, if uh, I ever have a problem with it, I will uh, fill it with epoxy and use epoxy to make the bond. Boom. And now, one thing I do like about what they did here is uh, his weapon is pre-drilled. I think I maybe want to... Something has a little bit of a rough spot on it. Uh, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing yet that they did that. Um, it's probably a good thing because then you can just take it off and store it. And there's one last bit on uh, Rathor. And that's the piece on his back here. Now, I suppose, like I said before, you can get creative. You could try and put it in upside down. That looks a little weird to me. Um, so, I'm going to put it up like that. And you have a finished Rathor. And you can adjust the club. It, it makes him look a lot stronger using his, uh, what, is it, what do they call that? It's a, I call it a scepter type of melee we uh, weapon. But it's a, oh, they don't actually name it. It's not a trident, because there's four, right? Uh, it, it looks like a magic scepter from D&D. &D. That's where I'm getting my influence from. Or, heck, you know, if you want to mod things out, you could snip that off and put, <laughs> put it right there, right? Um, anyway, enough fun. Uh, seven minutes in, and uh, Rathor is complete. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. This has been another Flip Through with Matt Lemke, and uh, next we're going to finish up the uh, two-player box set uh, in the next video. Uh, so, thanks for watching. Have a great day.